hello guys welcome to the stream uh, and i think we are live so let me just pull up the chat real quick and today we will be building the the thermal app uh, as we have left in the last live stream uh, just a second okay i open the chat nice uh, so uh, again if uh, if you are not uh, familiar with the with the thermal app uh, so this is a uh, this is a view of the thermal app uh, if you, you know if you don't know like what what thermal is uh, i'll just give you a brief, a brief introduction about the thermal app itself and uh, if you want to uh, try using the thermal app so it's a electron uh, based application you can install on, on windows uh, like currently the app the, the software is only available for windows but i will soon at least for other uh, operating system also maybe for linux and uh, mac but for now you can just try it on uh, windows and uh, if you want the the application for installing uh, it on your machine um, you can just join, join the thermal discord server and in the announcement channel there is the, the link from which you can download uh, let me just share the the invite url with you guys uh, and i think um, let me check okay so it is now opening uh, i'll just share the the invite link uh, in the chat and in the meantime you can see the the view of how the, th the thermal app looks like and uh, you can uh, see like this is a, just a, a welcome page uh, with the with the links and on the right side this is where uh, the the magic where the real magic happens and you can see uh, so this is just a dummy uh, dummy repository you know it doesn't really uh, do anything but uh, when you just click on this button uh, by adding repositories so that's where the actual magic happens and you can add additional repositories to the project let me just show you like what I uh, meant by that so you can let me just add few dummy repositories I mean uh, not the dummy repository but the actual repository so I'll just paste the the path of the, the thermal app you uh, git repository uh, just a second okay so as i was saying uh, so this is the actual git repository uh, of this thermal app itself so you have to just paste the url uh, i will add the functionality i know you must be thinking that why there is no uh, file picker in the for selecting the path i know uh, and uh, i'm still working on that feature uh, but you can still you know just paste the path and mm, click on this button uh, add repository and it will be added over here like this and then you can select the the repository i mean there will be multiple repositories uh, uh, let me just show you again i will add a uh, few other repositories uh, okay let me uh, add this one so again this is another repository and let me add another one okay so you can see i have add, added three repositories over here and of course you can uh, select any repository but of course you can select uh, a single repository at a time um, and there are settings for that specific repository and i'm working on the settings uh, repository feature right now but most of the feature are almost done like um, you know i will just open the this i will just select this repository and so once selecting the repository it will open all the the workspace for that specific repository uh, it will uh, pull up the chat uh, sorry pull, pull up the the file changes uh, of the specific branch you can see the name of the branch over here and uh, you know a bunch of options uh, and over here like you can open the um, the the terminal in the current working directory uh, this i'm still working on this feature right now but uh, this feature do work 
and of course I'm also working on the settings and this, this button uh, using this button you can switch the repositories uh, between different uh, repositories uh, I'll just click on this button and you can see again uh, you are back to the welcome page from there you can uh, select the different repository so I'll just select a different repository now so you can see uh, now it just changed uh, to a different repository and even you can see the the file changes over here so this is a test repository uh, <laughs> it currently doesn't show the name yeah i need to work on the feature also okay but you can see over it is showing uh, it is showing git test so this is the name of the repository well uh, it is not basically the name but it is just uh, a, a as you know that uh, the git the way git works is that it just uh, shows the the name of the folder itself as the as the url in the git form so so one selecting that it just shows the all the files over here and of course i have added this custom uh, scroll bar and it's just not that much uh, there are a few other features uh, you can see for example there is this history uh, there you can grab the history uh, well there is not much of history to show uh, let me just uh, switch to another uh, repository Okay, just a second. I uh, I have opened the Discord and uh, let me share the URL with you guys. Um, okay, there's a URL. Okay. Okay, so I just shared the, the invite URL. Uh, you can just click on this URL and join the, the Discord server, and then you can just download the application itself. And Okay, someone uh, is in the okay, nice. So yeah, uh, I was saying that, uh, so this is the history view uh, where you can see all the changes uh, like you know, the previous changes, you can see all these changes over here and you can just uh, just just drag these over here uh, you can see the full list of the history uh, I do need to add the feature to add some kind of a pagination uh, just to make it smooth scrolling uh, right now it's a bit uh, bit to you know you can say glitchy or something uh, but yeah it is in the roadmap, roadmap itself and i will add that feature and uh, beyond, uh, beyond that there are a few other features uh, for example uh, you want to see the you know uh, do you want to get a quick look of the all the file changes of the specific commit and uh, so based upon the way git works i have understood that uh, you know in the day-to-day -day use uh, whenever we make a commit we generally just you know uh, select some files um, and commit the changes and if you want to you know uh, check the history we just see like what are the changes of the specific commit so this is a general workflow of the you know if we count you know a basic use of git and so based upon that <coughs> excuse me and so based upon that only uh, i have implemented this uh, feature you know where you can get a quick look of the file changes uh, i will add uh, another feature that you know when you uh, click on a on a file in a drop down you know, when i hover over here for five seconds i uh, it waits you have to wait for five seconds to show this drop down and then it will show the list of file changes and then you can uh, click any of the file from the list itself and then you can on the right side then on the right side over here it will show all the file changes i mean not so file changes the the changes of the specific file you have selected so this is basic workflow and uh, next feature is that uh, you will see over here that it 
gives you uh, all the detail of the uh, of the specific weight uh, well it gives you complete detail so whatever uh, information is stored inside the git of whole universe you know for the specific uh, file changes it's available over here <coughs> Uh, for example, um, okay. For example, uh, you see the author and name and the email address, the person who has committed, and you also see the the title of the commit itself. Uh, you you can also view the the description, but since this commit doesn't have any description, so it's not visible. That's of course. And there are a few uh, additional information like uh, author, the author date, uh, the committer, uh, the committer date, the reference, and the commit hash, pre hash, parent hash, and the file changes. So here I need to work on this feature. I mean, uh, it's you know going beyond the screen. I need to fix that. Mm, but <laughs> the story doesn't end here. There is still more. So when you click on the file. On the right side you see the file changes i know it doesn't look nice uh, it bit it is you know a bit weird to see you know uh, like it it might look good if you know if, if we can see in a, a good visualize uh, and i'm also working on this feature also and you can just uh, view the file changes uh, like any other you know uh, you can see this uh, minus sign or this plus sign. Uh, I know it's a bit hard to uh, visualize like what is the actual uh, additions or deletion in the specific file. I, I totally get that and I'm I'm aware of that thing also. Uh, yeah. Uh, and Uh, and next feature is that uh, for example uh, I don't know like if you have you know if you want to share the detail of the specific commit uh, to someone uh, the best way you know instead of copy pasting all the stuff the best and easiest way is to just export the data of the specific uh, commit so what you can do you can just uh, click on this icon over here uh, I know that this is not a uh, best icon to say that for exporting the data but when you click on this uh, icon it will show a pop-up model okay that's weird it's not showing <laughs> oh that's weird <coughs> that's weird well this feature has to work i don't know why it's not working now but uh, but what i mean to say that uh, it like i did complete this feature like uh, two hours ago so it should work i don't know it's not working uh, let me just check real quick because <clears throat> uh, like I have recently worked on this feature and now it's not working that's really not a good thing <coughs> uh, it has to work okay so you see this uh, so this is the error mm -hmm. Okay, so I think uh, I have to debug it and I will work on this fe uh, this feature later I and mean, this bug fix But now I am more focused on the settings feature uh, I can just show you a real quick view like how it will look like so when you click on the settings icon uh, It will look something like this and uh, You can uh, like it will show some predefined uh, values also like the path and the name uh, and you can also add few additional uh, settings also uh, and few other control uh, like uh, I do have a lot of plans for the settings and all of this stuff uh, but I uh, like I'm trying my best and trying and trying uh, everything my I try, I'm trying my best you know to implement uh, features as soon as possible uh, and now uh, I'm of course I'm working on the settings feature and okay so let's work on this feature and of course uh, in the way if you have any you know question to ask like or maybe you just want to uh, try this application on a machine just let me know i will share you the download link yeah <coughs> or maybe you know uh, even if you have any uh, feedback regarding the the application itself you are most welcome to share the feedback or you can just share the feedback directly in the discord server i can share you the invite url to the, to the thermal discord server again nice okay now let me just check one thing more
Okay, health this is good. Okay, nice. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm just working on this feature and let's see what's the code base say. Okay, so this is the, the settings page and uh, yeah, we need to retrieve and set the read also.
I'm still not able to figure out why it's not working. Now I think it is happening because of the recent changes I have made over here in the console of statement. That is the only possible reason. Uh, because otherwise it was working perfectly earlier. I did show you uh, like this. crazy now every time it reloads the settings page uh, it shows that error uh, I don't know uh, like I'm still not able to figure out that error also uh, and that I'm facing that error you know whenever I just refresh the page uh, it just uh, shows that blank screen that is that path is not found or something I'm still not able to figure that out that why it's uh, showing and I'm facing that error in the beginning of that project I'm still not able to figure that out but uh, because of the this uh, hot reloading feature uh, I might get lucky sometimes but uh, you can say 40% uh, uh, I have to just restart the server only Time it is starting the server. Let me check the, the documentation for the VUX uh, setter that uh, that we know how we can save the data from a form to the VUX store. It could be a bit tricky to use the model on a piece of state that belongs to VUX. Okay, the zooming object is a computer property that returns an object from the store, the view model. Here we attempt to reduce it in the user. Okay. So uh, I think what the this documentation is trying to say <laughs> that uh, that we just commit the mutation. Uh, yeah, we commit the mutation and that time it will omit that uh, value something like this but before we you know dive this uh, dive into into the committing stuff we actually need to make that thing work like why it was not showing we need to still fix that and uh, I was I am also working on uh, migrating to uh, SQL Lite uh, for this project only that the user can store the data locally. Uh, right now that uh, you know when you just uh, close the application and start again, uh, all the list of repositories will push gone. So I do just manually add those repositories for now. But uh, I will also add the feature you know where uh, you can just store the data in the in the server of a database. showing so uh, I'm sure the error was uh, because of the, that console of thing but why was that error showing up it is just a computer property okay hmm. But uh, we do need to, you know, retrieve the the name of the repository from the VX store only. That's the only possible reason. Because if uh, it will be showing an error, that's not really a good thing. Okay, 
okay so what i will do uh, i will just okay so okay, okay. i will just do it over here and what was that okay grant repository and the name so this should work that it should return the okay so if we what not again i really hate this i don't understand it it's only happening on this path only it's just insane it's totally insane uh, yeah i will also show you this error so if you uh, if any of you know about this error or how to fix this uh, just let me know like I'm still not able to understand how, like, how to fix this error and uh, I don't like what is it I think it's uh, saying about some kind of a, a content policy you know like a, a site, uh, site scripting something like this I think the error is related to that I'm still not sure uh, let me just check the routes that why it's happening okay yeah it's correct so uh, I think uh, why that error is showing you know this uh, this one that why it's uh, showing this uh, because uh, when I make some changes to the to the actual uh, actual file and that time it just uh, reloads the page uh, but you, as you can see over here it is showing the the value zero over here and that's because of the index value that i'm storing all the list of repositories into an array and the index value starts from zero itself that's obvious and then uh, since it reloads the uh, reloads the the application i think i don't like what part it actually reloads uh, anyway so uh, based on that uh, i think it clears the vx uh, store and everything and then since it's not able to, because the vx store is all uh, already refreshed and empty and every, every data is gone and that that's obvious that it's not able to find the that uh, the index value zero or something and then it uh, shows the error that not able to get that thing um, yeah Um, we don't even have to pass the the index value also well it's not that important because it's just a single page only and you can't even enter any multiple pages also over here in the application so I can just keep it settings only yeah okay let's just keep it settings only let's see I've just removed the remove this and in the nav bar uh, from here we are passing the index value as a, as a parameter uh, from here and over here and we, I can just move this into a one single line maybe add a bit of spacing and I can also remove the index parameter from here okay nice so since we are not passing any parameter now
I'll just keep this file open because uh, <laughs> if I you know, change my mind to undo the changes, I can just do that. But now the real problem is to Hmm. Okay, again, okay, I have to just restart the server only. <coughs> Oh, by the way, I, I really like this thing, you know, I like it is written in bold text. I really like this electron view. <laughs> it's, you know, the way they have created this, it, it, it is a bit tricky to create this actually, you know, like each and every line, you know, with all the spacing and all the stuff, it's uh, really a bit hard to create. But uh, yeah, it still looks it still looks nice. And uh, the most interesting part is that whenever I. Uh, do a live stream like this um, that time was 50% uh, of the CPU is almost taken by the the OBS only and that time my machine just gets a lot slower and it takes a lot of time to just uh, start the server from scratch So you can see I uh, just add all those repositories again. I think I have to really implement that feature ASAP before any other feature because it's not like I because since I'm developing this uh, application and I have to pass I have to add um, all the repositories uh, like not all repositories just few repository for testing purpose and it's very time consuming also. Okay, so now you can see uh, it is not showing. Let me check the console what it is saying. Okay, so it is not showing any errors in the console. Yeah, that's always why it's not showing any errors. But uh, the question is why it's not showing the... I mean, it's not showing anything in the DOM also. And uh, the problem is more specifically over here only. In the, in the getter and the setter. So what if I just remove the uh, getter and setter thingy? and then try again what the hell please don't tell me please don't tell me to refresh please don't please Okay, now it is showing the error. 
uh, return is the result keyword really nothing can be done over here oh great now we are getting an error expected an argument or a assignment or a function call and instead saw an expression so you know this is a totally insane thing that they just can't stick to one thing only if i add return and then they will say this thing happened and if i don't add return then they will say that thing happened and this is just the most funniest part of the coding you know, sometimes I feel that uh, that this code uh, that this code is just you know taking revenge from your uh, taking revenge from you only that uh, just showing <laughs> showing some uh, absurd errors. But I'm still wondering. Uh, let me you know watch just wait. So we have selected the okay. Let me just check the VX troll. Uh, And because uh, since uh, we have selected the, the current repository and uh, all the data of the current repository I and mean the selected repository is stored inside of VX store itself and then uh, it should be able to retrieve the data uh, so this is the the data of the current repository from the VX store okay so we are trying to retrieve this thing which is not happening and I don't know why Okay, now it is showing multiple errors. Okay, now it is at least showing some content. That's nice. But why it is not showing it over here? You know, inside the input uh, itself. If I type anything, uh, it will not show and
okay so over here it is so we need to use this uh, and it should return the the data from the vx store but this is what uh, it is not working and i can just do that uh, easily that's not a, you know the part to focus but the problem is that uh, when we do that it doesn't work I mean, it doesn't show the value over there in the in the input field. So this is the repository name, and here we are using inside the V model, uh, which is the input field. And even if you know, uh, we just test it normally. If we just put the names, so the name is a local property, uh, local data property, which is defined locally inside this component itself uh, over here. So if we test it now, uh, it will work uh, normally as other input. Uh, okay, let me just show you. It should work. Okay, not over here. Uh, over here. You see. So if I just just type. Uh, okay, so it is working. Uh, and now uh, and let me just revert back to repository name. which is uh, we are just getting the data well is it important to you know use get, uh, if you are using getter and setter so is it important to use both at the same time like can you just use one single getter like this like i do know that you know if you just uh, don't you use getter and setter by default it is considered as a getter itself but what if you know if we, if we uh, just define getter and don't use setter uh, well is it a, you know a legitimate uh, thing to do now you can see it is not showing anything okay error uh, during evaluation and it is also not showing any error so this part is you know which is bugging me that why it's not showing any error okay you know what let me just uh, do a full fledged thing with the getter and a setter and then let's see what happens okay we need to pass a parameter as a value okay we will pass a parameter as a value and then we need to but uh, is it uh, this is, is uh, this being said that uh, we need to use uh, action to commit the mutation okay but uh, that was for committing multiple mutations how mm -hmm. yeah that's understandable oh i forgot to add a comma over here and now uh, i need to just uh, change the name of the commit and pass the value so this is uh, specifically for the 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 name itself because if we just try to you know uh, call it again it uh, removes the data from the previous uh, mutation and uh, overrides with the new mutation so i think this is what uh, it is being said so we can just give it a uh, give it a try let's see i'll just open the the workspace store and let's see where is the mutation workspace repository uh toggle and no we don't know that Then uh, push the data. No, we don't need. Wait. Uh, yeah, we do need. We we need that. But for that we need a new mutation because over here it just add the local. 
local repository to the vuex store now we need a new uh, mutation which uh, modifies the mutation uh, sorry which uh, which modifies the data of a specific item in an array okay let's do that and over here we will create a new mutation mutation and the name of the mutation will be um, okay. edit local repository I need to pass the state and the payload and further uh, we need to modify the vx state and here it will be state no no wait wait we need to also select the the item from the uh, what was that uh, we notice you know uh, see like what is the item from the index value like uh, 0 1 2 and now I understand why it is needed I think uh, we already had that uh, in the VX store because I did save that let me just uh, check oh no 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 not again crap that's really sad uh, I hope it still has the VX data oh thank god it does have the data yeah so we are still storing the index id uh, in the time it uh, restart the server i can just uh, work over here so we have to pass the the index id as a payload uh, so that it could it could modify the specific uh, index id data so first of all we need to get the list and that will be of course state dot uh, wait, wait. Uh, it will be okay it is a repository list uh, I do know that this is not really a good option uh, I had to you know store the data of a specific uh, repository in a you know a new block because uh, reading the data from an array could get a lot of uh, difficulty in later stages when there is a lot of data mm, yeah okay so we have got the list of all the arrays and for the payload uh, we can just pass the index and then so we have got the the data of the specific uh, repository which is a, which is in a JSON object. I can just console of this for now I have to pass the payload uh, with the index also so I can just use the the, the other format like this And over here uh, we need to pass the index and the, 
the current repository index okay now let me paste the the name of the mutation itself and since i'm using namespace as true so i need to do this and let's see if it works now wait i am missing something oh okay i'm not missing okay. Yeah, okay, it's correct. Uh, wait, no. Okay, so we are just not using the value parameter, but still, uh, just to test that uh, it works, uh, we can console of the the value itself. Just for testing purpose, and it is still compiling the code. Okay, so it is not showing the data. is very weird come on show some error in the console man why it is not showing anything in the console it is not even showing anything in the terminal also we are using getter and setter it is retrieving the data from the vx store uh, it is correct right let me just check that Yeah. Okay. So, so it is correct. Like the state and works with some other stuff. And I can just test this real quick also. Mm. Oh wait, wait. Before that, what if I just don't use this over here? What if? Because it's only the problem of uh, I think guys uh, now my bitrate is getting a bit fluctuation I will see if the bitrate is stable um, otherwise uh, you know I'll just end the live stream because from my end the bitrate is uh, fluctuating a lot and it's not a good sign for doing a live stream like this because you know uh, the, that the the view experience will be a very bad for for you and I don't want that to happen <laughs> just just 10 minutes I mean 10 seconds ago the bit rate was almost zero that was insane I think uh, I have to just end the live stream because uh, the bit. I think there's some problem with my internet connection. 
and uh, I'll just keep my <laughs> and my just uh, you know I just want to say that you know um, um, what I want to say yeah that uh, I'm working on this uh, application called thermal and uh, if you want to just get a quick ex if you want access to the application uh, you can just uh, join the discord server of the thermal and you can uh, there will be a download link for the thermal application itself you can download the application or you can also follow uh, the the thermal account on twitter it is at uh, at uh, it is at git thermal without any spacing you can just type that in the chat also it is git uh, thermal so you can just uh, type this in the in the twitter or maybe you can just search uh, git thermal and you will find the the twitter handle and from there you can just uh, there is a, so inside the uh, twitter account only there is the <coughs> invite url for the thermal uh, discord server and there you will find the download link uh, so you are most welcome to download currently it is in the alpha version and uh, i'm constantly working on this uh, application day and night to add more and more features every day and uh, and and uh, this application is uh, free to use. Uh, you can uh, download the application and try it for free. And and um, and I would really appreciate if you could you know uh, help me out with uh, by becoming my Patreon at my Patreon page. Uh, that will help me you know running the app, uh, running and building the application itself. <laughs> the part is not working that's insane anyway okay uh, okay let me just share the patreon url with you okay so here's the patreon url uh, so becoming my patron will really help me um, developing this application um, and uh, yeah that, that's all for now and again thank you very much for tuning in and uh, and for watching the live stream and i will see you in the next one Bye-bye.